Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you the our new performance plugin pack. It includes four plugins: uh, Scalability Pro, Faster with Widgets, Auto Infinite Scroll, and Super Speedy Search. Now, it's what we use on our Found Through site to get one million products loading in an average of 292 milliseconds, um, and that's uncached. Uh, so they're really great for scaling a website and I'm going to go and cover a little bit of detail about each one and make there's separate videos for each plugin so if you want more detail then you can go and view them um, in my background I'm Dave Hilditch I've been solving scalability problems for a long time I used to do uh, scalability problems solve scalability problems with Skyscanner uh, one of the biggest affiliate websites in the world um, and I'm the founder of WP Intense uh, now our oldest plugin is Scalability Pro which I'll show you here, it focuses on optimizing the archive. And basically, in WordPress, uh, you get three main performance issues, okay? The first one is you have plugins that are causing too many queries. Um, Scalability Pro can't help with that. If you've got that problem, you need to install Query Monitor and start disabling plugins until you find out which one is causing too many queries. Uh, too many queries, I mean, if you've got a page that's running slow and you install Query Monitor and it tells you you've got... 1500 queries on the page right i mean you should really be having about 100 queries per page with wordpress and um, so that's the first issue um if it's that problem you should solve that first and see if that's been fixed before you, you get this um but then if you have slow queries that's what this does help with okay so it works by optimizing your database it creates 13 indexes on tables where these indexes should exist already and um, but they're not for whatever reason wordpress decided um, and I'll go into detail about specifically what they are in the specific video for Scalability Pro. But it also rewrites the queries to make use of those indexes. And it gives you a bunch of options to disable some functionality in WordPress and WooCommerce that slows things down when you start hitting scales like a million products. Okay, and then we have the Faster with Widgets plugin. Um, now the default widgets that come with WooCommerce, they're good functionality, but they're very slow. In particular, the price filter widget is really bad. It causes table scans no matter which way you use it. Um, but the other one is also uh, the layered nav widget and category widget. Now, this replaces them and it replaces them with faster options. Gives you the same functionality, actually more functionality. And um, we also have the Ajax option as well. So you can, you'll can you see that in practice in a minute. Uh, and I've built in something called microcaching. So what that means is if you're on the books archive, books category, and then you drill down into fiction, then it can reuse the product counts that are already generated for the books category and all the top level categories. Okay, so it's very good, very fast, and great options that you get. And now Super Speedy Search, what that is doing is it's optimizing your free text results. And so WordPress by default, they've done this because they wanna be backwards compatible or as compatible with much as much hardware as possible, but they use something called a like operator. Um, a like operator is slow and not that accurate. Uh, whereas a free text search match operator is fast and accurate. It uses something called stemming. Now, you can only use match if you have a decent database. So that's like Percona DB or MariaDB or one of the later versions of normal MySQL. I think 5.6 and up has a match operator on NODB tables. Uh, but anyway, that makes uh, make, this plugin also gives a little widget um, which uh, an Ajax widget so that as you type, as your users type, it'll update the WooCommerce products um, on the page. Uh, that's how fast it is. You'll see it in a second. Now, the final plugin in this pack is the Auto Infinite Scroll plugin. And um, it might be a little bit confusing why that would go in a performance pack, but one of the options in Scalability Pro to avoid table scans is to uh, remove pagination. Now, so, like, say you're on a, if you're on a books page, books archive, and say if there's a thousand pages of books in your archive then wordpress has to go and calculate that it has to go and count that it, it, it does it through the database um now that causes a table scan most times depends depends on your category um if your category is using up a lot of the if you're on slash shop it's definitely going to be a, a a a table scan um on other pages it, it could or might not be but in any case it's still going to read far too much data so if you remove pagination, you need another way for users to be able to scroll, to be able to find page two, etc. And that's where infinite scroll comes in. So they can just scroll down the page um, and get to page two or three or whatever. Um, now, I've, it also solves another problem with performance. Um, so all the other infinite scroll plugins, if you go to page, if, you, if you're on page three and then you click a product, 
then you click the back button then other pages you'll be back on page one at the bottom of the page and it'll be fetching page two okay and then once it's fetched page two you've still got to fetch page three the user has to scroll again so not only is that bad for performance you fetch page one two and three again unnecessarily um, but also it's bad for your user because you've left them not at the point where they left and um, so what this plugin does when a user clicks from the archive if they're on page three or four they click a product through to the product page it keeps a copy of the archive in the browser storage um, so then when they hit back the back button it just reloads that from the browser storage and scrolls them right to the exact point where they left off so that means your server doesn't have to do anything extra uh, and it's better for the user they can just continue on so um, it's pretty good okay so here is the found through demo site um, you can visit yourself if you like foundthrough.com um, I'll go into the actual shop and I'll just start drilling around this is on cache you can see I'm logged in here right you can see the time up, up at the top um, and if I just drill around, you get a feel for how quick it is. If I got dog collars, I can pick colors. You can filter by anything and it'll still be fast. Okay. Um, now, search is also fast. This is the free text search, super speedy search. And it just uploads everything straight away. Um, this is the faster we widgets on the right. This is one of the category um, widgets. This is using the Rehub theme, by the way. Rehub is a really good theme, really fast. Um, can find that over in theme forest um, but uh, we have a category widget from fast food widgets we also have an attribute widget this is using the color um, display there's also if i go to dog treats there's um yeah we have label types but you can also have a drop down or you can have a list like this there's all kinds of options and you can set it up to be using ajax or not ajax so that's the faster way widgets on the right this is the super speedy search here which updates this automatically it also optimizes your normal search results um, and then you have the uh, faster uh, the auto infinite scroll just uh, fetching everything uh, as you scroll down the page um, and scalability pro is in behind this if you want to know more detail, details about scalability pro check out the specific video for it because um, it is really the core of all this to make sure that it works really fast okay so that's it that's the four plugins scalability pro faster with widgets auto infinite scroll and super speedy search if you want to make your website really fast uh, these are the four plugins you need. There is one thing missing for any sharp eyed viewers is caching. Okay, I don't include caching in my plugins. Um, now, the reason for that is because I am a fairly firm believer that you should be caching before WordPress gets hit. Okay, if you're using any of the caching plugins, um, the same goes for security. If you if no, if you're using any of the caching plugin caching plugins, then you're forcing. Uh, nginx has to pass through to php all the code has to be loaded the database has to be accessed and then it serves up a page okay if you're using nginx or varnish to serve up a cached page you don't have to bother with the database or any of that other stuff you just it just goes and grabs a file okay so caching page caching should be done using your web server not using wordpress um but when you need your pages that are actually getting generated to be generated really fast these are the four plugins you need. Uh, you can find them over at WP Intense. Um, I'm always around to ask, answer any questions, so I uh, look forward to hearing from you.